this video, we will be discussing how to navigate throughout your iScorePlit takeoff program and your drawings. After you've created your project, the top taskbar here will provide you with lots of different options on how to use your iScorePlit takeoff software. We have our measurements, our measurement options, for example, highlighter and ruler, the ability to set scales, your zoom functions, clicking zoom in will enable you to zoom in on your drawings and zoom out will zoom out. The zoom icon enables you to left click and hold your mouse down and draw a box around wherever you'd like to go and when you release your mouse it will snap directly to that point. The zoom page backs out and shows the entire page for you and magnify will magnify whatever you're hovering over when you left click and hold your mouse down. You also have the abilities of being able to insert drawings using the insert drawing function and layers. You can insert text if you would like to add custom text to your drawings. And you can copy layers, clear layers, and delete layers with these buttons as well. On the view tab, we provide you lots of different image options. For example, the abilities to lighten or darken your drawings, and also to be able to rotate if you need to. If your drawing is not level, you can also level a drawing. The master tables enables you to change your takeoff status. So if you like to change your takeoff status to active, complete, or pending. Takeoff types enables you to select which type of project you are working on. And the standard layers opens up your standard layers library, which we will discuss more in depth in a later video. And copy takeoff takes a snapshot of the window that you are currently looking at. On the left hand side here, we have a list of all of the drawings that you've imported into your takeoff program. Your layers will be listed here, which we will discuss in a later video and the property section as well. If you choose to do so, you can also navigate with your mouse. To zoom in, simply just scroll up and scroll down to zoom out. To move around your drawings, just right click and hold your mouse down and drag and that enables you to move around the drawing itself. Right clicking also provides you lots of other options like zoom pan, and many of the same options that you find above. One very, very important thing to note is that when you're working with your iScorePlit takeoff software, to always remember to occasionally come up and click on the save icon up in the very top left hand corner of the screen. Our program does not automatically save your work, so you'll always want to remember to occasionally click on the save icon so that you do not lose any of your progress. One last very important thing to remember is that if you are, for example, going home for the evening or going to be leaving your computer for an extended period of time, we always recommend to remember to click on the house icon up in the very top left hand corner of the screen first. When you click on this little icon, that automatically saves your work for you, but it also properly closes your product and takes you back to your program's homepage. So if, for example, your computer restarts and installs updates overnight, or if the power goes out at your office, if you have clicked on the home icon, you should not lose any of your progress. So we would always recommend to click on the house icon before you go home for the evening or before you leave your computer for an extended period of time. In the next video, we will be explaining what to do in order to prepare to perform a takeoff.